From my Jose Game Entertainment, you already know Battle Raps over here, clean game Really the greatest, suckers and suckers shit just going on It's really the legendary game Yo, what up, what's happening? Welcome to another episode of Outside Looking Inside with your guy, Fatty. Man, if you ain't hit that subscribe button yet, yeah, you tripping. Go ahead and do that, you feel me? Uh... We rolling, we rolling. I got a, I got a question. Um, somebody asked me a question, so I wanted to hop on here real quick and uh, answer that. Somebody asked me, uh, have I ever been tried in the penitentiary? Um, I got tried a couple times, and then also this is like a follow up to the the question that I had about my first day in prison. So this was also on my first day in prison. When I got to Mansfield Correctional Institution, um, I got to my cell, and my celly, he had a job. He was a, a porter in death row. Now, what a porter is, a porter is the person that's back there, and he, when uh, death row inmates or people that's in the hole, they locked in a cell. The porter is out there, and he can walk around freely while they locked in a cell. And he get them books. He trade books for them. He pass out the food to them. He uh, threw their little shoots. They got little food shoots. They probably bought, like, that big. You know what I'm saying? You can get down and look, look out of it if it's open. But uh, that's what a porter do. He back there. He basically take care of the needs of... Uh, Inmates that's on death row that's locked in a cell or inmates that's in uh, segregation doing DCs, LCs, and ACs. But anyway, you all, I always was hearing the stories about if you get to your cell and it's uh, food or something on your bed, don't don't eat it. Don't don't eat it. It's a setup. You know what I'm saying? Somebody trying to set you up to. Uh, Make you owe them some money or you could pay with money or you could pay with sex or however. But it's like an old school penitentiary trick that um, I heard about. So anyway, uh, when I got to Manfield, like I said, my, my celly, he was a porter in the hole. So uh, what I was trying to do was not go in the cell until he came back. Um, so I was just chilling, hanging around. But I found out that he ain't come back to after nine o'clock count, nine p.m. count, and I'm and, and it's only like maybe four thirty, five o'clock. So it was too long. So I went in there. I went in the cell, and I was up on the top bunk. Top bunk was I ain't had no sheet of nothing on there. I had all my linen with me, so I carry it in there, and uh, it's a box of Debbie's on the top bunk. Like Swiss rolls or fudge rounds is one of them. I think it was Swiss rolls. But anyway, it's an unopened box of Debbie's sitting in the middle of my bed, the middle of the bunk. So I go in there, I put my stuff up, I make I make my bunk, put the sheets and stuff on there, and um I ain't got nothing but my linen, socks, some socks and drawers that I got from quartermaster. And I ain't got nothing but my cellar. He got TV. He got radio. He got lamp clipped up in there and everything. He got tiles all in the window, like curtains and everything. He got it decked out. He been here for a couple years. So um, he come back in. Now, I done had this box of Debbie's, but I ain't opened them because I don't know if they my cellies. So my cellie come in. He come in like 9 o'clock. He come in, break down, leave out, go get in the shower, come back, and then we locked in for count. For the night. So I asked him. I say man. um, Is these your. First we introduce each other. I tell him my name. He tell me his name. And um. Got name. I know his name. It started with an R. He had a. He had a long sentence. And he ended up getting out of prison. On the parole. And he got out and killed his girlfriend. Because uh. 
I really don't know the whole story. I don't know the story, but I know he got out and killed his girlfriend. He came back with another life sentence. So uh, he was a weirdo off top anyway. But anyway, back to the story. So I, like I said, I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing to eat or uh, nothing but this box of Debbie's. So I asked him like, man, uh, was these your Debbie's that was sitting up on the bed? He like, where they at? And I saw him the box. He like, no, no, them ain't mine, them ain't mine. So he got a little chuckle, like, <laughs> I'm like, shit, what's up? He like, uh, them was on your bed? I'm like, yeah. So he uh, he like, man, don't eat them. But I'm hungry. Boop, I bust the box open. I'm saying, I eat the Debbie's. So I smashed the Debbie's. I asked him if he wanted some. He declined. He ain't want none. So I eat the Debbie's. Hey, you know it is what it is. I eat them. So the next day, the next day, uh, I didn't got out the shower. So I'm in the cell, <clears throat> and in the cell, it got these little windows, man. It got these little windows. They they probably about like that big, but they 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 about like that long, probably a little longer. You know what I'm saying? But they skinny windows, and you could look out of them. So we used to make these little like cardboard things, the size of that. Like if you use in the bathroom or if you get out the shower or if you in there doing something, you don't want nobody to look at your window. We put the cardboard things in the window and it, it block it. So you can't see. So anyway, um, I'm, I, I get out the shower and I ain't, I, I ain't get my clothes box yet. So I just got what I got from a uh, quartermaster and a quartermaster, they give you the dunce to dunce. So I got on dunce. You feel me? And um, I ain't got on nothing but that. I just got out the shower. And I got the door closed. I got the cardboard in the window. Let you know, like, I'm in here. And the door come open. So I'm like, what's up? And it's this dude, man, dude from Dayton named Jazz Man. You know what I'm saying? Tall, dark-skinned dude named Jazz Man. He got these little, uh, he got buck teeth. Like, he suck his thumb, so his teeth out. I, uh, I say he look like Daffy Duck. I called it. I started calling him Daffy Duck later on down the line. We end up getting cool, you know what I'm saying? Uh, once he found out about me, like I wasn't, I was about that mess. But anyway, he opened the door, so I'm like, "Man, what's up, man?" So he like, "Uh, you just moved in here yesterday?" I say, "Yeah." He say, "Uh, man, I put some Debbies up on that bed." So I'm like, "Man, get get up out my cell, man. Get up out my cell." So I grabbed the lamp. It's a clip lamp. It's on the. It's on the. Um, cabinet so i grabbed a lamp i'm about to hit him with the lamp like because i don't know what's going on you feel me i don't know him i don't know nothing i, I just know i'm in here i'm half naked he done opened up the door talking about these debbies so uh my man get up out of my cell man so he leave out the cell i'm salty i'm heated so i hurried up and put some clothes on and i come out and i'm looking for him like what's up man what 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 you come up in my cell for like that? And he like, man, I put some Debbies in there, man. I put them in the wrong cell. They were supposed to go to the other cell. Like, where they at? I'm like, I ate them. He like, oh, man. Oh, man, you shouldn't have ate them. What you mean I shouldn't have ate them? They was on my bed. I was hungry. You know what I'm saying? You put them in the wrong cell. Like, that ain't my fault. So he like, when you go to the store, like, I ain't never going to the store. I ain't never going to the store. What's up, man? What you open my cell for? I'm trying to, I'm trying to get to it. So, uh. I leave off. I'm storm. I storm off because uh, I think the COs or something come, so we ain't get off into it. And uh, so I storm off. But I'm thinking like, dude, then just try me. He tried me. I done heard all these stories about this thing, so I'm about to poke him. I'm about to try to poke him, but I ain't got the hammer. I ain't got no poker. So I'm going around the pot, and, I, and mind you, I don't know nobody on the block. I only been here for a, a day and a half. This only my second day here. So uh, second day on the, in the pod, so um, I'm walking around. I'm just older dudes. I see. I'm pulling up to the side, like, uh, "Let me holler at you." They come over there. I'm like, um, "Where can I get a knife?" They're like a knife. Like you just got here. Imagine well, I'm only I'm only 160 pounds, soaking wet, I'm skinny, skinny, frail, a baby, dappy afro. All these dudes have been bitten for at least. Uh, eight to fifteen years already, already they and they've been bidding together too, so they all know each other. So anyway, uh, 
they get to ask me like, what you what you need it for? And I'm like, man, this dude came in my cell. I tell him the story, boom, boom, boom. So um they like, who who is he? Who is he? I tell them and they like, oh man, that's jazz, man. He always be on that. This, that, and the other. Go ahead, just chill, just chill, youngin. It's cool, it's cool. So I'm like, man, we gotta fight or something. We got to fight. He came in there while I was half naked. Like, I feel violated. And uh, they got us together. And he apologized. He apologized. And, you know, I never I never paid him for them Debbies, though. I ate them Debbies. I needed them Debbies. But, uh, yeah, that was my... That, that, that happened on the first... On, on my first day as well. Uh, so... And that was like my first time getting tried like that. I never really got, I never got tried like that ever, ever again. I got tried like uh, verbally. People uh, talk crazy or um, gabbled me and tried to chalk me. And, uh, you know, it turned into something else. But that right there, to me, that was kind of, that was, that was funny. That was a laughable moment for me um, after I, uh, Got to know Jazz Man and got to know what type of person he was, his real character, you know. And uh, yeah, it was real funny for me. It was funny. It's funny to me now. It's real funny to me now. But it wasn't funny to me then when I was in there in them duds and he opened up that door and told me all uh, them Debbies. You feel me? Because <laughs> I uh, after that I seen a lot of people go down about them Debbies. Go down that long. You feel me? Let somebody go up in their little thing thing about some Debbies. Oh, it was it was bad for a couple people. But yeah, outside looking inside. Hit that subscribe button, man. That like or that dislike, however you feel. I'm gonna keep these coming. You know, and I'm gonna keep telling you about it. You feel me? Uh see your questions and comments to K I N G F A T T Y, the number zero at gmail.com that's king fatty zero at gmail.com we out here ain't gonna do nothing but keep going up and up and up hey man i can't make this up man everything official stay safe you know ah. i'm so official i do what i want